In this video, you'll learn how to roll back your Shopify theme uh, template files. So first of all, let me go to online store, click on themes and uh, look for the current theme and click actions, edit code. So right now we're in the code editor and uh, for the purpose of this example, I'm going to make changes to the theme.liquid file. So let's say I was working it and uh, I accidentally deleted this part of code and then saved it. And I figure, oh, I actually want to go back to the original version. Luckily in Shopify, they keep track of um, recent uh, te theme template changes. So if you look at the top uh, left corner, you'll see the current. In fact, in here, you'll see most recent changes we made to this file. And they work quite a bit. So let me click on the most recent one, which is this one. And I should see the code which I accidentally deleted just a few seconds ago. It's in fact here. So I can right now click on save and the code is going to become um, published in theme. Uh, this process applies to essentially most other folders with the exception of assets folder. This folder mostly features uh, .css and JavaScript files. So if you're planning to make changes to example to CSS file, you want to essentially copy the content of the file to your computer you can paste it in, into a plain text editor uh, or as alternative you can also make a duplicate copy of the theme which i'll show you at the end of the video so because ultimately uh, let's say if i want to make changes to a css file and i let's say delete this code and then save it you'll notice there is no way to revert back see there is no revert button and so the only way to go, go back is to have the copy of the file content somewhere saved in your computer. Uh, so let me just go back, paste it back and save it. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, see how to make a double copy of the theme. Just go to online store themes and then look for the theme which you haven't added it yet. In my case, let's say this one. Click on actions and click on duplicate. So right now it will create a copy here. And uh, in case you make changes to your current theme and something goes wrong, you can always revert back to non-edited version. So I hope you found the Shopify tutorial useful. And for more tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.